Hello everyone, welcome to KDF News. I am Senior Private Frankfurt Karanja. The Chief of Defense Forces General Robert Kibochi on Thursday 12 May 2022 delivered a lecture of opportunity to the Senior Command Course participants at the Senior Command and Staff College Kimaka in Uganda. On 12th May 2022, the CDF traveled to Uganda to deliver a lecture of opportunity to the Senior Command and Staff College in Kimaka. The lecture themed the contemporary operating environment comprising of the role of tactical leader and the domains of complex operating environment. The scope included contextualizing the present-day operating environment, threat drivers, and other influencers, war fighting and training in today's operating environment. But the environment that the tactical leader today does lead is one that is very unpredictable. An environment uh, that has various dimensions, multidimensional. And for that reason, the understanding of the operat operating environment is more uh, demanding now than it was uh, during the wars that passed. Pointing out some of the threat drivers influencing the conflicting environment, the CDF listed various actors, both state and non-state. He also pointed out the influence of technological revolution as an element hindering conflicted environment. The other issue that we're having to deal with, and uh, you will have to deal with uh, very strongly, is this uh, question of technological uh, revolution. It is not evolution, it is a revolution. Uh, and it's good that uh, majority of you uh, are are uh, youthful, uh, tech-oriented, uh, and therefore you understand the uh, impact uh, of information operations. Because uh, today, the Al-Shabaab, or any other terror organization, is adept uh, on using technology. With the dynamics in climate change, General Kibushi highlighted natural impediments as influence and threats to conflict. Some elements that involved changes in regime and entrusted conflicts were also among instances that were pointed out to be rampant in conflict environment. Harmonizing all this, the CDF championed for military's involvement in protection. He encouraged the military to provide continued support to civilians, provide civil military operations and technical support to those in need. Uh, because one of the reasons why, uh, for example, communities uh, fight of uh, resources, resource-based conflicts, is because there are no resources. And therefore, for us in the military, we have a role to ensure that we mitigate these particular kind of conflicts through provision of those resources that they don't have. For example, the engineering capabilities that we have in our defense forces are hugely important in providing uh, water, uh, opening up roads, uh, and, and, and that in itself speaks to the community's resilience to be able to uh, understand that it is not by force that they get what they want, it's by engaging that they can be helped to be able to get out of those situations. Crediting the military active engagement during the COVID-19 pandemic, the CDF praised the men and women in uniform and highlighted some of the lessons that were adopted. The course is attended by senior officers from Uganda People's Defense Forces and senior military officers from other African countries including Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan and Tanzania. The coming in of the Chief of Defense Forces from the Kenya Defense Forces is one of the tenets that shows the integration as the East African community, as the region. In this college, we are about six countries. We have students from Kenya, Tanz the United Republic of Tanzania, Burundi, South Sudan, Rwanda. And when our CDFs come from these different uh, countries, us as leaders, and students here, it gives us a horizon on where we are supposed to go. As a tradition in this college, we receive lectures of opportunities from key leaders in the region, that is the, in the East African region, and military leaders to give us lectures of opportunities to expose us to the outside world and what we expect after this course. It stressed the much on the issue of contemporary uh, threats uh, whereby East African communities are facing right now. 
and uh, he wanted us as uh, graduates in future days to come to think about it when we go back to our uh, units and in, in our respective countries when we are deployed to, to conduct certain operations so as to counter those threats. For these and more stories, join us on our YouTube channel, Kenya Defense Forces. Thank you for watching. I am Senior Private Frankford Karanja.